Peace will we back again. Favorite toddler here. I'm so sorry I didn't get up a video yesterday, but I made myself a promise while I was doing these that I wouldn't put up any like videos when I'm in a bad spirit or stuff like that. And yesterday was a really stressful day for me. I know you're not gonna see any more of my hair. This is as close as you get. Me. But anyway, um, today's more so a self-love day for me. Like I'm just being comfortable in the house and chilling. But I'll show you the stuff that I went through yesterday just so that you get a glimpse of the pain and torture that's been happening for the past few days. So, quick update. Apparently my weight dropped. Now I'm at like 252, which is kind of awesome. Also, I don't know why, but the nurse who was helping me kept calling me Hampton Ribbons when it's Hamilton Ribbons. Mm, I don't know. But yeah, so currently waiting for the doctor. Hopefully this goes quickly. And I know I can't be recording in here. Also, my phone is dying, so I'll give you an update when I either when I get home or after my second appointment for my eye doctor. One of the two. Anyway, just appointments and appointments every I think I guess Monday is appointment day. I don't know. Hopefully everything goes well and I figure out what's going on with my knee so it stops locking up and on to the next bus. And the next appointment. Man, I'm tired. And we didn't even do the extra today, so hopefully that happens sometime soon. Wait. After that day, I was stressed and annoyed because I didn't get my contacts because they weren't covered under the insurance. I didn't get my glasses after being covered under the insurance. Went to another place and the Still not. The insurance covered part of it for my glasses, but not my contacts. And it was just a bit, it was hot. I felt like I was having a heat stroke. It was just one of those days. So, I decided to do self-love. And I thought, I can't leave you guys with that bad message after all we've been through. So, here's my three ways out of a million and two. Literally, I have so many ways. But... My top three ways of self-love. Without further ado. One of my favorite things to do, seriously, is just watching kid shows. Especially, like, this Star Wars told through emojis, because I'm a big kid, if you didn't know that already. And also, these are so awesome, I can't lie. They really are. Oh, look how cute they are! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Struts, which is really weird, but it's actually doing cleaning around the house. I guess I got it from my aunt, where clean home is a happy home. So right now I'm doing laundry. Yeah. I'm going to load the second shift of then. And final way of self-love... Out of my list of like a million and something. Oh, that's my stuff. I think in the microwave? Yeah, that's my stuff in the microwave. But yeah, my third and final thing that I love to do to help myself distress is surrounding my stuff, myself with stuff that I love little station with stuff that I love. Got my computer where I usually write or my notebook which is really helpful because I write in it. Although it doesn't look like it. I actually do write a lot in it. Reading some magazines. Shout out to Wimst for um, connecting me back without magazine because I did not know they sold it up in Hamilton, New York. It's a small little village town and yeah. So thank you for that connection because I'm subscribed. Once again, and I got my magazines. Look at my baby Troy. And then I'm also reading books, especially queer books. These are this is one of my favorites that I highly recommend. It's by Joey Grassifa, and it's called In Real Life: My Journey to a Pixelated World. And it talks about his experience with coming out and everything. It's a really good book. Seriously, go read it. 
doing this and sitting here either reading or writing, sometimes knitting. I always have headphones in and I'm always listening to music. It's really a fun, nice, chill way. I'm either listening to something on Spotify or like there's a chill playlist that I listen to. There's Chill Nation. There's like all these different nations on YouTube, which I highly, highly recommend. If you need some good music, there. Thank you, Chris, for that hookup because it was really, really helpful. But yeah, I mostly just have headphones in and I'm chilling. Let me see if I can find my knitting real quick. Okay, so I found one of my older works that I started when I was younger. When my mom was first teaching me how to knit. Like, this is how bad it is. I think I started off doing like a scarf or something. But you can see where my mom started. Mm hmm with her, like, perfect stitching. And then you see where I came to it and made it kind of bigger. I don't know. I'm thinking of really, like, going back to it. I mean, I've added a few stitches. I might just switch to a knit pro pattern and see if it makes a difference. But we'll see. And there you go. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, or really, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel and want to see more stuff from me, please subscribe. Because I'm trying to make videos as much as I can. And also comment below and tell me what you think and what are some things that you do for your self-love days. Lots of love, peace, and happiness from your favorite toddler. Adios. I don't know what my gender is today. I'm still wearing a crop top. And at the same time, I am wearing my boxers. Yes, Batman. Because I am an experience.